Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and today I will be taking the advice of Scott Hellum who suggested I use gitignore for the database file in the repository, which if we do a git status, which is what I had just done here, you can see there's the database file and a few more fi files and directories in red that are untracked and I want to stop looking at them. So following the advice in uh, the, the Git documentation, we can just create a new file right inside the repository called git ignore with the dot in front of it so it becomes an invisible file. And uh, according to the documentation, the very common way to use this is with uh, command line or bash style uh, wildcard, so asterisk.extension, so we can take care of a few of them right now. That was uh, uh, wildcard.pickle, pkl, the database, and uh, I forget what else, so let me save, drop to the shell for a second, csv and underscore, underscore, pycache, underscore, underscore, as a directory. Asterisk.csv, and then a particular directory name. And that should pretty much do it. We'll quit out of vim. And now we'll do a git status again. Oh, and the git ignore file. And according to the documentation, the git ignore itself should be added to the repository for any of you who pull it down. It should travel with it and have the same effect. So git add. Oh, yeah. Git ignore. Okay. Uh, git commit. And added git ignore git push git status. And there you have nothing to commit, working directory is clean. This is my shortest tutorial in a long, long time. And uh, thank me by thumbs upping it, sharing it, and don't forget to subscribe.